So uh, this poem, uh, everybody knows this poem as the cigarettes poem, but it's actually entitled uh, A Cancerous Growth. So when my five-year-old son asked me, what did you want to be when you grew up? I was immediately shifted to a time in middle school when teachers were asked this very same daring question. You know, ever since I was eight years old, I've always wanted to grow up to become a cigarette because it was the only thing that my father could never abandon. For as long as I can remember, I've always felt like a man constantly in reverse, like the backwash of a dream, like karma's favorite crash test dummy, constantly begging someone for all the love that they've already given me. See, I started drinking and being with women in order to fill up all of the potholes inside of my spirit, but drinking more absolute only made me more obsolete as I treated having their bodies like mirrors to try and convince myself that I was beautiful in all of the things that I could do to them when I was 13. I first started building train tracks on my stomach, some on thighs to all the parts of me that I wish I could forget. But now, all I'm left with is the cadence of poetry and a vulgar smile stitched to a sense of humor, hiding the boy with the skin of a scarecrow because it's the only way that his corny heart can ward off the birds and the bees, the only thing that my father ever passed me is this uncanny ability to hurt the people that we love the most. In a split second, I lost a woman that I thought I loved more than my third degree scars. The very next year, at a random doctor's visit, I found out that I was alcohol intolerant, that I've drunk so much over the years that liquor has become poisonous to my blood, so my very next shot could have well been my last. You know God, he has a funny sense of humor took away the two things that I harbored on the most to teach me of real love and that women and liquor are not a cure to your loneliness. So what do you want to be when you grew up? You know, I've always wanted to be a pediatrician. One that helps save and heal children, starting with the one within myself. But who would have known in the 15 years it took to write this poem that I would grow up to become a pediatrician, making a stethoscope out of a microphone, writing poems out like daily prescriptions, and turning the stage into a patient room for the healing of me to start within. Because when you are in the search for the divine inside of yourself, you're often led to the harsh realization that you've been more Rick James than First James, who built in prior escapes inside of your bones. But all the times that you want to Run away from the blaze inside of yourself. But what kind of legacy will I pass on to my son? Will I give him a legacy of ash? Will I give him hands like ashtrays so that he can inherit all of the butts of my mistakes? See, I do to want to grow up to become a cigarette. Made sense because I'm a cancer, but there's no chemotherapy to my astronomy. Yet I still radiate like a sun that is afraid to shine, but always willing to give all of his light to save any one sunset, which is all the excruciating reality that I do not want to die alone, but son, you can grow up to be anything that you want. Just don't you ever become nothing, not, but don't you ever become nothing less than a small escape inside of a slow burning pulse, kind of like a cigarette. Thank y'all so much. Thank you for the Please don't like the video, support him, you really want him to be a right bloody author. Uh, if you can't find it on YouTube, check out the DCU Slant Team Facebook page, yes. we'll be posting it there again yes. and again and again. Share yes. it with all your friends. We just Voting is friends. all the way till first week of July. So like, tell your friends, tell your mama, tell your aunties, <laughs> tell your baby mamas, tell your baby daddies, tell everybody. Your haters, your lovers, everybody. Go like the video, go view it, all that. We thank y'all so much. Any last announcements? Yeah, if you like anything that you heard, go up and talk to the poet, tell them yeah. that you like, like what they heard. That's the best thing about these open mics is really connecting with one another. The World of Me Poetry Competition, we got flyers in the back. The DC Advocates for the Arts, we got flyers in the back. Please turn them in. We have a folder. We'll mail them for you. Thank you so much for coming out. We hope to see you next month. We'll be back here at the same time, same place. Please give it up for yourselves. Yeah. Thank you so much.